Storm Henk hit parts of the United Kingdom, leaving at least one person dead, and another injured. The storm brought winds of up to 150 kilometers, or 94 miles per hour, and heavy rain, closing dozens of major roads and train lines, and leaving as many as 10,000 homes without power. Hundreds of flood warnings were in place across England, Scotland, and Wales. Residents in the affected areas have been evacuated, due to the life-threatening floods, characterized by deep and fast-flowing water. A tornado between St. Catalina Waver and Putter in Belgium caused severe damage, with one horticultural company losing 40 years of work, as greenhouses were demolished and glass shattered. The tornado left behind a trail of destruction over a 4 kilometers or 2.5 mile stretch. The municipality of St. Catalina Waver reported torn roofs and debris scattered across the area, affecting about 40 homes, two of which are now uninhabitable. In Gunungkijul Regency, of Yogyakarta Special Region, dozens of buildings were damaged, and several people were injured, after strong winds and a tornado hit seven sub-districts. It was reported that many trees fell, blocking roads, and hitting power lines, houses, and vehicles, while one building collapsed. Mount Tukono Volcano, located on Halmahera Island, in North Maluku Province, erupted, throwing a volcanic ash column as high as 4,000 meters, or 13,100 feet above its peak. Local residents and tourists are recommended not to move within a 3 kilometers radius of the crater, and to wear masks, to avoid the dangers of volcanic ash, which can impact the respiratory system. The town of Middleburg and other parts of Mpumalanga province were affected by severe flash floods after intense hailstorms and rain hit the region. The water entered some homes, causing material damage, and blackouts were reported in various areas. While it has been very wet in southeast Queensland, the southwest is experiencing the opposite, with a number of bushfires caused by dry lightning strikes. Residents of the Yalaban State Forest area are being urged to prepare to leave their homes, as a significant bushfire that is burning in the Bebo region, near Inglewood, edges towards the area, with authorities warning it could quickly take hold. 
the fire has already consumed more than 37,500 hectares, or 92,600 acres of vegetation. About 200 residents' houses were flooded in Bakasi Regency, of West Java Province, after torrential rains, that were lashing the area for two days, led to the overflowing of the Siberian River. Hundreds of residents were forced to flee, and to take refuge on bridges, that were higher than the water level, that was reaching 120 centimeters, or 47 inches, in some places. An extreme cold and severe snowstorm has hit parts of Sweden and Norway, disrupting transport of all kinds and causing widespread power outages since the start of the year. Thousands of Norwegians have been trapped in snowdrifts across the southern part of the country, while schools in municipalities along the coast announced closures, citing weather conditions. The severe weather described as unusual by officials, has brought life to a standstill in many areas. In the meantime, about 1,000 vehicles were stranded on Sweden's E22 motorway, for almost two days in gridlock, caused by heavy snowfall. Swedish meteorologists say, the extreme cold marked the coldest January night in the country, in 25 years. Torrential rains lashed the western part of Jambi province, provoking floods in many districts, leading to the isolation of some villages, and forcing the residents to flee. Jambi governor said this flood was the biggest in the last 10 years, and that it has affected at least 27,000 residents. In addition, landslides were provoked in several places, resulting in road closures, and broken bridges. The flood situation remains critical in various localities of northern France's Pas de Calais department, after recent heavy rainfall caused rivers to swell beyond their banks, with flooding impacting wide areas. The scale of the disaster is significant, with approximately 189 municipalities bearing the brunt of the flooding, where more than 2,000 homes were damaged, hundreds of residents were evacuated, and around 500 households were left without electricity. Germany is experiencing severe flooding, following a period of record rainfall, that has seen rivers burst their banks across the country, with the Lower Saxony being the worst affected state. This crisis has prompted the postponement of school reopenings, and the mobilization of the armed forces, to aid in the response efforts. 
The agricultural sector has borne a significant brunt of the crisis, with all 35,000 farms in Lower Saxony having suffered water damage to their fields, while several hundred thousand hectares of arable land and grassland, submerged. A number of roads, as well as one highway in Johannesburg, were reported as flooded, or with a large amount of standing water, following a thunderstorm, making it difficult for traffic to flow. Rising water levels from the Juskay rivers caused parts of Alexandra Township to become flooded, with informal settlements submerged in water, forcing dozens of residents to evacuate. The three-hour-long afternoon rains turned the streets of the city of Nairobi into rivers, exposing the poor state of the city's drainage system. Vehicles were swept away, as others got submerged, with the floodwaters extending beyond the roads and penetrating homes and businesses, causing material damage. A child is said to have been swept away in the Mashimoni area, in Kibera. Thank you everyone for watching. Want to say special thanks to my stunning patrons for continuous support. Hegib Sargisian, Michael Joseph Wilhelm, Dave and Alana, web designer Ganesh Vad, Leslie Sales, and John and Claire Heath. Thank you for your support.